Did you know October is National Pizza Month? Well, you still have several days to indulge in your favorite pies and toppings. And executive chef Travis Kirkley at Coletta in the Avalon shows us how it's done. Hey, my name is Travis Kirkley. I'm the executive chef here at Coletta in the Avalon. Uh, here we're going to showcase a couple of our non-traditional pizzas uh, for National Pizza Month. It's uh, throughout the month of October. Uh, come down to Coletta and check out some of our pizzas. We're going to go ahead and start making a couple pizzas. We're going to make two of them for you. Uh, we're going to do our pear pizza, which is currently on our menu. And we're also going to do a porchetta pizza with broccoli rabe. Uh, it's currently not on the menu, but it will be shortly. So first we're going to go ahead and grab our dough. Place it in the flour. Make sure our surface is covered in flour so we don't have anything to stick. Once our dough is uh, covered in flour, we're gonna place it on the cutting board. We're gonna start building our dough. Grab our rolling pin, make sure it's covered in flour. And we're gonna roll it kind of thin to, uh, to where it's even throughout so we get even cooking. Once it's rolled out, we're gonna actually start stretching our dough. You can keep doing it like this or you can actually bring it up A little bit easier that way. Then we're gonna place onto our floured pizza peel and we're gonna start building our pizza. The first pizza we're gonna do is the pear pizza. So we have gorgonzola cream sauce, then mozzarella, and this is fresh buffalo mozzarella. And then our pears that we poach in white wine and cinnamon. Then Parmesan cheese, just like that. Then gently place in the oven. Just like so. Uh, it's been about three minutes or so, so we're gonna go ahead and rotate our pizza. You see it's almost ready, it's getting there. It's starting to get nice and golden brown, spots all over. A couple more minutes. All right, and our pizza is ready. Uh, if you're making these at home, I would recommend putting your oven about 500, 550 degrees. Uh, and if you have a pizza stone, you can just lay the dough right on the stone and pop it right in the oven. Uh, you will need to rotate your pizza every couple minutes, just like we did. So next, we're gonna go in with our prosciutto. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the pie. We cut ours into six here. And the next is topped with arugula, a little bit of olive oil, and some grated Parmesan cheese. And that's our pear pizza. It's ready to go. For our next pizza, we're gonna do the porchetta pizza. So we have our porchetta that we make in-house. Then our charred broccoli rabe. Then we're gonna go with caramelized onions. Next, we're gonna use a cheese called Saint Simone. It's a smoky cheese. Just give it a little bit more smoke flavor. We're gonna go with whipped ricotta cheese, buffalo mozzarella, and grated Parmesan. And then into the oven we go. And this is our pork out of pizza. Next, we're gonna do the same as before. Cut it in six slices. Garnish with Parmesan cheese. And then these are the two key components of the pizza. We got confit lemon. The citrus is gonna really help with the pork and the chard of the broccoli. It's gonna help cut some of the fat. And then we have some pickled Fresno chilies. And there's our porchetta pizza. Once again, not on our menu yet, but if you come by and ask for it, we'll be more than happy to make it for you. We appreciate that too. And for the complete recipe, just head over to our website, fox5atlanta.com and click on the viewer information story.